Hey, it's me again. Just some random cultural notes from the car here at lunch again. It's a great time for filming. Uh, only free time I have for filming, sadly, these days. Um, on the way home from lunch the other day uh, with the five Santosas, uh, I heard a song on the local rap station by uh, this girl named Carrie Hilson, I believe. And I, apparently this song is a couple years old called Turning Me On. Uh, I, I, I just caught a snippet of it. But at one point, she kind of pulls this Janet Jackson thing from, I think it was Nasty Boys. When she said, you know, the name's Janet, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty or whatever. But this girl referred to herself as Miss Carrie. And the line was, like, it's Miss Carrie, baby. Miss Carrie, baby. What the fuck? Kind of, <laughs> that's just a terrible, terrible line in any song. Miss Carrie, baby. That's like, you know, naming yourself aborted fetus or something. It's just wasn't a good choice of words. Maybe it was intentional. Maybe this, you know, she, she had a miscarriage and this was her way of uh, working through the pain, perhaps. But I thought it was just kind of strange. Um, other, I guess, music news, hip hop news. Uh, Rick Ross having a couple seizures. Um, that sucks. You know, I like Rick Ross, but that's what happens. Uh, you, you can't live a life where every day you're hustling. It will catch up to you. You can't always. You can't always push it to the limit. So I've actually been listening to um, Rick Ross here in the car as kind of a, mo not a memorial, he's not dead. You know, I hope he recovers. Um, but just kind of in honor of, of the boss, Rick Ross. I'm trying to teach my daughter just, you know, you know, how did you uh, do today when you were coloring? You know, like a boss, I colored like a boss. Said my alphabet like the motherfucking boss. You know, it's not gonna happen, but I'll probably get in trouble for teaching her these things. Um, football over the weekend. Uh, sadly, I think I'm going to go down to a 4-2 and two record in fantasy football. Uh, while watching the games, I saw a commercial for this new drink, Dr. Pepper 10. And the tagline is, Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. I, I know you're broadcasting during football, but fuck, really? This is your, your tagline. It's not for women. Or the gays or the blacks. It's Dr. Pepper like, that's like trying to be extreme like Mountain Dew, but just straight being a dick. Made no sense to me why somebody would do that. But that's why they get paid tons and tons of marketing dollars while I sit here making YouTube videos in my fucking car. Um, video games. Been playing, I uh, got back into You Don't Know Jack. I uh, used to play this all the time, uh, I guess high school, uh, through the first couple years of college, uh, the PC versions, or even the internet version. You could play like demos or free versions or whatever live online. And I remember like three or four people huddled around one keyboard and stuff, but I picked it up on Xbox Live. It was a full, I guess, games on demand. You can get it in your stores and everything. Game is still fun. The writing's still good. Um, like, same voice for Cookie, as far as I can tell. Cookie Masterson is still there. Uh, really fun, trying to encourage others who enjoy trivia to pick it up. Hint, hint. Um, but a really good game. I recommend it if you like trivia games, you have a good sense of humor, and uh, you're pretty smart. It's fun. Other big video game news, something I'm very excited about. Uh, I saw the trailer. It's not out yet, and I don't know if it'll even ever come out here. Um, for the 3DS, a crossover between Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton. Um, the first Phoenix Wright game was really, really fun. I didn't keep up with the series, um, but I love Professor Layton. And I can just imagine this sort of story. I guess there's some sort of, they go back in time or some sort of alternate medieval-ish English dimension or what have you, and they're like doing a case together. I've held off on the 3DS this far because, thus far, pardon me, because there hasn't been anything really to excite me. I never played uh, much of the N64 Zelda games, so Ocarina of Time didn't do much for me. Um, Star Fox 64 would be fun, but just not that big of a deal. The closest I've come to jumping was uh, Street Fighter. I think it'd be awesome to sit there and like, play Street Fighter, you know, on the plane or laying in bed or what have you. But this, if this does come out here, this is the system saver for me. It's not Zelda, you know, it's not, you know, Pilot Wings or whatever. Professor Layton, Phoenix Wright, 
that's perfect. Make this game, uh, come to America, make it happen. I really, really want this. Also, um, just some stupid little things here. Um, I have a lot of really dumb ideas. I never get to execute them. Um, I write a lot of things, but I have no artistic talent, so I can't draw them. I don't make the comics and stuff I want to make. Uh, I'm actually trying, taking right now one of my long form, I guess, stories that was going to be serialized as a comic strip. I'm kind of going to try and rework it into a um, short story or even, I guess, novel form. Try and sell it on Amazon you know, if I, again, ever find the time to do so. But some of the stuff I come up with is just really stupid, quick bits for comics. And one that I had not too long ago, um, which is perfect now with the DC reboot, is proving once again how Superman is a jerk. You know, there's obviously sites like Super Dickery um, that talk about all the stupid shit, especially uh, Silver Age, just asshole actions that Superman did. But for me, this one now is how Superman started an intergalactic war with um, Darkseid and everybody on Apocalypse because he's just impatient and a prick. So the story goes here. Darkseid, his main motivation is looking for the anti-life equation. Sounds pretty badass, you know, it's sort of thing that, you know, is against life, destroys life, whatever it is. But you have to remember Dark side isn't from Earth. English is not his native language. So what I'm thinking actually happened here, this is my pitch for the new DCU, the DC New. Dark side comes to Earth, you know, boom tube opens up there in the middle of Metropolis. Superman is the first one on the scene. He's like, you know, hey, who are you? Hey guy, Dark side is a terrible name. How are you gonna make friends with a name like Dark side? But he comes in, he's like, I'm seeking the anti-life equation, blah, blah, blah. And Superman's like, oh, seriously? Pew, fucking laser beam eyes. And, you know, Darkseid gets pissed, and parademons, you know, interplanetary war. But I think it's because uh, Darkseid doesn't really speak English. If you break down the phrase, I'm seeking the anti-life equation, let's look at it, all right? I'm seeking, I want, okay? He wants something. The... Uh, Start with equation. Equations are, if you put them out in chemistry, it's a formula. He's looking for the anti-life formula. Anti, it's pretty much, there's there's no equivocating, it's against. So, um, let's keep it as anti. But life is the tricky point. The anti-life formula. Um, when you have life, you have organisms, you have, uh, I guess, well, the, the study of life is biology, so uh, biotic. He's looking for the antibiotic formula. He's looking for some fucking antibiotics. Dark side comes to Earth looking for some Neosporin. Doesn't speak English. Superman shoots him with laser beam eyes. If you look at his chin, you got all those lines and stuff. He's just, skin is bad. I'm willing to bet, he's like those douchebags you see, you know, the ladies put on their makeup and stuff, driving. He was in the boom tube, he was shaving, he cut himself while shaving. You know those things that bleed like a motherfucker. And he comes to Earth, due to the weird temporal distortions within the boom tube, it's already kind of scarred over and stuff, but he's like, you know, hey, so I can prevent this from my people in the future, can somebody hand me some Neosporin? Superman uh, doesn't have any patience, and he just fucking shoots laser beam eyes. That's why Superman is a dick. Um, that's probably all for now. I uh, just want to send a quick public service announcement out to all the youth of the world and looking at the, I guess, Occupy movements across. Uh, and it reminded me of just good, good, clean advice. Give a fuck about shit because it's the right thing to do. Later. <laughs>